Lovecraft. Dude. And they said we won't make it, but they were straightly mistaken. We got all that we need, and it was basic. And I'm just giving my gratitude. I'm just giving my gratitude. And I'm just giving my gratitude. Um, that's what means the world to me. It's it's like it's crazy how much that 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 round ball could really do on and off the court. It's kind of like my therapy for when I'm going through anything. Anything, when anything gets tough for me, I could really just go out there and just forget all about it. And it's like that, it's not only like that for me, but it's like that for a whole bunch of people. That's why we get into stuff like this. I was always watching basketball, but I first started playing around like seven years old. For those first few years, I really just tried to work on my game, figured out what I'm good at, what I could be good at, like what position I would be when I wanted to play. But like once I got into middle school, I started playing with PSA Cardinals. That was fun. I had a lot of fun, learned a lot playing over there. Then I got into high school, I kind of bounced around uh, AAU teams a little bit. So my sophomore year, I left PSA and I went to go play with the New York Wrens. Uh, we had a really good run. New York Wrens um, made it all the way to the Final Four. My senior year of high school, we did really well. Uh, ended up being back-to-back -back state champions. And that was really a goal of mine ever since I was in ever since I started playing. And now, now I'm at St. John's ready to take on my new, my new journey. My dad, he's, he's, people, people can label him for like crazy guy on the sidelines, but he just makes sure that, that we know that he's, he's loving us out loud. That's what he tells us. Uh, and that really like puts like a battery in your back when you're playing. And then he's always gonna be like for real with you. And sometimes it may be hard because who wants somebody to, to be on top of them like that, but it's, it was beneficial for me and it molded me not only just the player I am, but the person I am too. So growing up in Jersey, you find a lot of, you, you, get, a, you get a best of both worlds because um, there's a whole lot of good players from Jersey and then you get, you could come over the bridge and play a whole bunch of players from out here. So it's kind of like the best place for you to be if you want to be a basketball player because you can get the grit and all that stuff that you that that comes with playing playing in New York and playing in New Jersey like is really beneficial if you really want to take your game to the next layer. What made me choose St. John's was literally Coach P. It was like the last of a dying breed with the coaches, and just to be just to have the opportunity to play under him was like something you can't really turn down. Uh, winning the national championship would mean everything to me because I've grown up watching all the watching all the March Madness games and just wanting to just itching to get into that situation. Um, that's really you put you put yourself on the on the one of the highest pedestals out there. You get to get to really see what it feels like to win at this level. We have to be the defensive team that Coach P wants us to be. Um, like for us to do the things that we all have wishes to be is you have to do that. The teams in the Big East are all really good teams. And you have to do something to separate yourself from those teams. Beyond St. John's, um, I want to go to the NBA. Um, I really want to do this so I could show people from where I'm from that it's so, that, that it's a way when there's, when you just put your mind to something that you can really do whatever you want. I want to be like a superstar in the, in the league, not just a, just a regular or average player. Um, so, yeah, that's my goals outside of St. John's. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah.